Target ID. Kill. Kills the target, unless essential. Target ID. Resurrect. Resurrects NPCs. Will not work on NPCs who are, scripted, to be dead by default, either through a quest script's effect or an internal data flag. Warning. Be aware that NPCs with crippled limbs, head can spawn without them or with a collection of giblets where the limb, head used to be. Disabling and enabling the NPC again after the resurrect command should fix this. If the NPC is killed after resurrecting them, they may also fail to ragdoll on their second death. Some creatures will not resume their animated state when resurrected and will simply glide along the ground while not moving at all. This is entirely dependent on the race, species of the creature. Creatures that always do so include Brahmin, both pack and non-pack variants, and Mr. Gutsy. Disabling and enabling them again will fix this bug, but when not able to use those commands show barter menu, enables you to barter with NPCs. Recycle actor, resets some NPCs. Note, this causes randomly generated NPCs and random encounter NPCs, like a patrolling Minuteman, raiders attacking a settlement, or a named traveling trader, to vanish completely from the area. This can be used without a resurrect command. If used on the player, it will reset all effects currently affecting the player. This makes it useful for addressing glitches. The player's inventory will reset, be emptied, and any gear or items will be removed. A Vault 111 jumpsuit will be added and equipped. Appearance, level, perks, quests, caps, fatigue, and thirst do not reset. Using the command on a companion will cause them to respawn on the next map change. Can be used when one is stuck in a power armor frame. The power armor set will spawn to the location where one wears it with all modifications undone. It fixes the error from the above command by refreshing their model. Using this command on a power armor frame will return the frame to its original location and replace all current armor pieces with a random assortment of leveled armor pieces though the model won't change until entry. Using this command on a random settler will re-roll the settler, allowing for an alternate appearance or gender. Re-rolled settlers will spawn at one of the settler spawn points around the settlement and will stick to it until the game is restarted, which will just assign them a new spawn point. Note that this command will also reset the inventory of any NPC, including companions, to their default state, and as such, any gear or items given to them will be forfeit. The resurrect command also has this issue, so make sure to take any important items off of their bodies before you use that command as well. The command open actor container the first of may be used while selecting any NPC with the console to open up their inventory, as if you were trading items with a companion, as a workaround for the above issues. This will work on any NPC, including creatures and robots. Hostility does not stop it from working, either. If used on a robot companion, it will remove every mod installed on it and reset its appearance to its default state. Kill kills all NPCs and creatures in the area except for companions and essential NPCs that are too important to die. They will instead slump down until healed with a stim pack or until enough time passes. Ka kills all hostiles in the area. Non-hostiles are unaffected. Set command state 1 it's a command that can be used on NPCs or settlers to get them to do things outside your settlements. A very useful command to make NPCs, guards, provisioners, etc. get into power armor. Call function, actor. Switch to power armor. A useful command function to order settlers, merchants, NPCs out of your power armor when dialogue is not offered. Can happen on occasion when settlements are attacked. First target the NPC. Then type the command. Target ID.tie toggles the AI on an NPC. This basically freezes them until toggled again. Tie, with no selected target it will toggle the AI globally. Target ID, toggle combat AI or target ID, TCAI, toggles all AI combat routines. TCAI, with no selected target it will toggle the combat AI globally. T detect. Toggles AI detection. Disables AI from detecting anything. Including other NPCs, creatures and the player character. Target ID. Sex change. Changes the sex of the NPC. Please note that this does not always come out comely. Warning. Only use this on disposable NPCs. This will mess up NPCs essential to quests, 
but it can be remedied by restarting the game and loading a previous save. Set essential less than form ID greater than less than bool greater than allows an NPC to be permanently killed or alternatively, unable to be killed, depending on the value used, see below. Trying to set an NPC that is already essential, or not, to the same value they already had using this command doesn't do anything. Note, as this requires the NPC's form ID, and what's shown when they are selected with the console is their ref ID, use their name and the help command to look up their form ID. For example, to remove Deacon's essential status, type help Deacon 4 NPC underscore, then use the ID it lists for him in the above command. Set essential less than form ID greater than zero allows the NPC to be permanently killed. Set essential less than form ID greater than one sets them to be unkillable. Target ID is essential. Returns zero or one depending on whether the target is non-essential or essential. Target ID is protected. Returns zero or one depending on whether the target is non-protected or protected, similar to is essential. Target ID Get AVCA underscore affinity. Get companion affinity level. Events usually triggered at 250, 500, 750, 1000 with 1000 being max, unless in a relationship with a companion which maxes at 1100. Target ID. Set of CA underscore affinity. Sets companion affinity level to an absolute value. Target ID. Mode of CA underscore affinity. Modifies companion affinity level by a relative value. Warning. It's generally advisable to use sedif for companion affinity to avoid unintended consequences. See the general notes section for the console commands page. Force repath, aka FRP, the selected NPC, if currently pathing, is forced to forget its current path data and start to find new paths from scratch. Force path failure, aka FPF, the selected NPC, if currently pathing, is forced to regard the path it is currently trying to take as a failure, and to re-evaluate its current pathing options in that light. This is a somewhat educated guess, that appears consistent with observed NPC behavior. Reset AI, resets an NPC's AI. Example use case. An NPC is endlessly trying to walk through a wall, or similar non-traversable obstacle, and the command's force path failure and or force repath have revealed that it is not currently pathing. Reset AI will cause it to forget what it has learned, which should stop its current behavior, and then begin learning again. As is apparent, the NPC AI is very limited, and the new results may not better or even different from the previous results, but it should provide at least a temporary respite from the immersion ruining spectacle of an NPC relentlessly attempting the same obviously impossible action. Ref ID, move to player, moves NPC with ref ID to player target ID, Toggle controls driven or target ID.tc allows you to control selected AI. Note, does not automatically remove control of your previous character. As such, all commands like moving forward will be sent to both controlled targets. Toggle player.tc to remove control from the player character. Target ID. Play idle editor underscore id causes the NPC to perform the specified idle. Idols can be found using the help command by specifying a form type of idol, e.g., help, idol, for idol. If the idol is not valid for the selected actor, nothing will happen, e.g., the actor is the wrong race, is, is not in first person, is, is not in power armor, etc. Top stop an idol, use play idol loose idol stop or to stop the player, open, close the pip boy.